Hello again. In our last tutorial, we learned how to basically design and, and generate the toolpath for our nameplate. Uh, in this tutorial, I'd like to teach you a better way to select and translate. Um, and I would like to go over the toolpath generation one more time. Uh, so here is our frame for our nameplate. Uh, it's six by two and a half. Um, and what I will do is I will create letters. Um, as you can see, we've did, we did this in the last tutorial. Uh, you can change the fonts and different parameters um, and the alignment of the uh, of whatever words you are putting uh, onto your nameplate. Um, so here I will change the height to point two, and spacing automatically adjusts. I select and now to the location. So now I would like to put this line into the center of our nameplate. So what I will do is I will create a bounding box. So to create tab. And I'll select the entity that I want our, my binding box to be around. And now I will move our words into the center of the nameplate. Create. Um, translate. And I'll use our from to option to select the center. And uh, in here, I will input our exact position, which is three by one point two five. And there we are. So you're, there you have it. That's how you put the whatever wording you're using to p how to position that into the center of the of the nameplate or pretty much to move it around anywhere like now I'd like to go over selection for chaining and the toolpath for that I'd like to open something I've already created for that we will use another nameplate So now I'd like to generate the, the, the toolpath for this nameplate. It's just like our last tutorial, we, choo we choose the contour toolpath. And instead of selecting each chain one by one, we'll use a window. Um, this way you can select all the chains. And this will be our start point. Uh, as for tools that are available to you, uh, you will have a 3H, 3 8 inch uh, flat end mill, a quarter inch ball end mill, and a 16 inch ball end mill to use to engrave. So our first tool will be a 16 inch flat end mill. And I will change the tool number here to tool one, and we'll adjust the feed rates to be 15. Um, that's a fine plunge rate. Remember, on our machines, uh, you cannot go past 120% of your feed rate, but you can bring your feed rate all the way down to zero. So uh, it is better to set up a feed rate that's a little bit faster than your um, then the feed rate that you're going to use and then adjust the feed rate using the over override on the machine. Um, now we want to turn off the compensation because we would like the tool to run exactly over the letters. Um, there's no need for lead in or lead out. And we will go a depth of point. 
hundredth of an inch. Or less. And we will go a depth of five thousandths of an inch. And there you are. Now you can see how this looks using our verify tool. So thus far. So now that we see that it engraved, uh, now that we see that, it's, that it engraved, we can go back and generate more toolpaths. Um, do another contour, and we'll select this chain. So now we'll go back and select this chain, and I'll use my quarter inch ball and mill. And that will be my tool too. And again, the feed rate of 15. And here, I'd like the computer compensation. And um, depth. hundredth of an inch. And there we have it. That is our toolpath. And lastly, I'd like to round the outside of the nameplate, so I will add another contour path. So. And for this, we'll use a 3 8 inch flat end mill. Again. And here we'll use depth cut, and we'll go a tenth of an inch at a time. And uh, depth of our name plates are going to be about half inch. And there we have it. So we can verify all this. And that is the outside of our nameplate. Select everything, verify. And 
there you have it, our new plate. So now I'd like to make a contour for the outside of this uh, nameplate. But before we do that, I'd like to go back into parameters and change my depth to be an absolute depth for my engraving. Um, uh, five thousandths of an inch. And remember to set this into absolute. And now we can regenerate. So now let's create an outside contour. And again here we'll use the 3 8 inch flat and set that to tool 3 and change the feed rate to 15, protractor to 15. Um, and we do want the compensation on, but we want the direction to be right instead of left, I believe. And we will do a depth cut of a tenth of an inch and a lead in and a lead out. And we will use the linking parameters. Negative point five five since our ha our stock is about half of an inch. There we go. And there's our nameplate. Now we can verify. Let's see what we get. Oh, I only selected the last. Select all of them. So all the two paths. And here we are. folks. So now that we've generated our tool paths, let's generate the post file uh, so we can machine. Uh, firstly, we'd like to make sure that the Fryer MB11 and LM3000 uh, is selected. That's our controller for our machine. If it's not, we go into files and you click on replace and you select our machine. Um, uh, since it is, we, we can just post. It's all correct. And there it is, it's post file. Uh, you just save that and run it on our uh, mail 